everyone, this is Haiti. Uh, today I'm gonna share a toy, a Lego toy with you guys. Tada! Yes, this is the book series Lego toy, but it's a Harry Potter themed one. You can see the color one, it's green, so definitely it's a slathering, slathering, slathering house one. And with the book, it comes with three figure. I think it's um, Snape, Snape, Seamus, and Draco Malfoy. And uh, here you can see this book. You can you can open it. And uh, other than Slytherin, it also has three other different houses book. And. Uh, For slathering, this one, the design is based on Snape's potion class. It's a very classic scene. I think for now, many fans might be thinking, Oh my god, it reminds me so many famous scenario in the movie. I cannot watch, wait to see. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to see. So... Let's go! These are all the parts inside the package. Two book covers and two big bags of bricks. Here's the cover, light grayish green with perfect Hogwarts print on top. I also have to put all these fine stickers on the bricks by myself. I always have problem doing this like OCD. Must apply it perfectly. Now it is the instruction manual. Lego always have detailed step by step manual. Even I think it might be a bit waste of paper. But it is pretty handy when you need to disassemble them and store them for a while then rebuild them. I guess you could also find it online, but not everyone is good at research. Here it goes. The pile on the left is some extra bits. So in the end, we will get a solid book, three figures, a book, and a bottle-like thingy. The book is almost as big as my hand. Well, this little fella is our young Draco Malfoy. We could tell he is from his first year of Hogwarts. The comb back blonde hair, wicked smile. Especially in Lego design, all younglings would only have half length of normal legs, which is unbendable, compared with a full grown man here like Severus Snape. I really like Professor Snape's new design. They kept its purple vest inside, but shortened its cape. He looks much younger and more handsome to me. Every figure in the set have two faces, a normal look and an angry one. Now I'm gonna turn its head around, angry face. Silence! Well, that's not a good mimic of Snape. Don't forget about Seamus Finnegan here. I really like the idea, they gave Seamus a full blowed up hair. Cause Seamus original hair in his first grade supposed to be smooth long hair. But for the good representation of its explosive character, with this specially designed hair, they also gave him an after explosion face. He looks so innocent and lost. Love it. It is exactly his character identity always make explosion outside and inside the classes 
and speak of his own mind directly whenever he likes. Here comes the book. The cover is totally black, but the inside print represents a lot like the covers in the movie. The cauldron shows it is a book for the potion class. You could also make the figures to hold up the book and pretend he is reading it. I think it is cool, cause I can use it to pretend it is Harry reading the book from Half Blood Prince. I mean, as long as you have a Harry Potter figure. The very last bit of the set is this small orange bottle with pink plug. The colors just remind me too much of the love potion. I know, I know, that is not in the first movie. Love potion is not there yet. We could also think it as liquid luck. Um, but liquid luck is not there yet as well. What a shame. However, we could always use our imagination to play with it. This is the most charming part of LEGO toys. If you have any other idea of what it might be, please comment below. Also, the Love Potion Part clip of Weasley Wizard Weezy Shop is my favorite one. Finally, let me show you guys the book. The book has four yellow thingy at each corner of the cover. I think it is to mimic the metal part of those old vintage look book. The print design is also well done. Elegant and smart with those golden lines. Hmm. The side has its cauldron sticker to show it is for the potion class. Very cute. On the back, you'll find these two tiny bits. They are used for connecting this book with other LEGO books. You don't have to put them on if you only have one book. Let's peek at the inside. On the top, you could find all sorts of small parts hiding here. The most top one is a long rectangle desk for the class. And this is a small black chalkboard. You could fold it and unfold it. Here's the well-made leather sofa. Actually, I don't know why they put it here in the first set. Cause it doesn't look like Snape's chair. It looks more like the sofa in Slughorn's office or living room. Anyway, the lesser part is the little potion material shelf. You could find all kinds of stones, powder, and herbs on this small shelf. It has a cauldron and this green ice cream like things in the glass. Interesting. As we can see here, the back part of the book is the inside walls. And this stone shelves can all be taken off from the wall. If we want, we can take off the knife and spoon as well to play around. Like Harry told Hermione to, no, it's not chop. Use your blade back to crush it. Crush the beans. Let's move to this side. For this side, it's the famous arch, Potassa Carbonate. As we know, these are Latins. I know nothing about Latins, but I think all these words on the arch in this classrooms are chemical elements. Okay, here comes the fun part. Let's move this piece to the right. See here? Behind the wall on the table, this is they Philosophy Stone. Unfortunately, I think it could be better. 
because the shape is exactly like the bottle plug, or a diamond, or red gem. I think they could improve this to just make the same shape as it is in the movie. The first sticker here is the one with slithering flag and a portrait painting. Hmm, I guess he is murdering. Why? Cause he has the glasses and looks smart. And this Lego set is mostly based on the first year movie. Also, we can see the picture down here. There's Tom Riddle's name carved on the wall. Obviously, the logic here is that one day Tom was reading potion books and trying to find a way to be undead. Then he found that this murdering person has a red stone, which can make him live forever. Anyway. This is all I can make up. The very last impressive part is this snake wall decoration. It reminds me so much of the door of slithering dungeon that Harry needs to get through. And the last sticker with the pipe running through walls. My first thought of this one is, hmm, this is weird. Why would they have pipes in the class? Then I was like, wait a second. Cause the parcel tongue voices Harry heard are from the pipes, and it was the pipes lead Harry to the dungeon and find Tom and Ginny there. This is so brilliant and cool. After all, I think it is a very good quality Lego set. That what you put into your collection. The most part I like is that instead of using the potion class set in the first movie, they used the class in the Half Blood Prince. It makes me feel like get two things in one set.